I wanted to do another quick video on this and because it bears addressing uh, and it's extremely relevant and important in these days that we're living in and I'm using this under the Fair Use Act I want to remind you of what's making all the worldwide major news headlines of what was just recently found in a woman's brain in her forehead that is where it was found in her forehead and where it came from where it came from this snake this specific snake a python and again the reason they're saying this has happened just recently just in the recent days there was a jumping between species take note of that there was a jumping between species and that only just recently happened within the last month but I want to also remind you of the I pet goat video that came out many many years ago there was a video and it was something that people were trying to understand what this video meant and I made a previous video where I show I knew exactly what it meant Realize there were in that video there was a egg there was an egg and a serpent there was an egg and a serpent coiled around that egg and then later the egg turned out to be the head of a young man and once it hatched a worm came out of it understand that in that same video the egg turned out to be a young man's head and then an, a parasitic worm came out of that egg head the snake the egg realize that realize that ladies and gentlemen but I'm gonna show you something more incredible in that same video we see a lightning bolt splitting the brain, a lightning bolt splitting, splitting the brain, but we also see a dragon right here. We see a dragon, as in Revelation 13, the dragon from 13, speaking into that brain, speaking into the brain, and the dragon represents a serpent also. But then you also see up here, you see a shark very important that you see the shark you see this lightning bolt going through the head and a dragon and we're gonna learn more they use a lightning bolt that's relevant very relevant in scripture but the more important part here is this is the group that actually decided that they needed to put snake DNA snake protein slash venom in the vaccine they did so, they were catching pythons out of the Florida Ever Everglades. You can look it up. As a matter of fact, they uh, they had a big thing on uh, Fox News, Fox News, where they were bragging about how they were going to use the DNA proteins from pythons they were catching in the Everglades to create this amazing vaccine for us. Now, that was my interview with Dr. Brian Orvis <clears throat> from January of this year but this interview was me discussing the book that I published in 2021 ladies and gentlemen in 2021 I published a book on all of these things in 2021 I published the book the logo to kind of show you who they serve who they truly serve again there's the caduceus partially the caduceus that relates to the the deities, the demons that I referred to earlier. If you go to the next slide, you'll see why they have a lightning in their their uh, logo. Luke chapter 10, verse 18. And he said unto them, Behold, beheld, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Yeah, we should throw lightning with yeah, serpents. That make it more obvious yeah they, Great they catch there yeah I mean they they pretty much show in their logos who they serve they show who they serve who they worship 
a, a lot of them don't even try to hide it. Again, that was my video uh, TV interview with Dr. Brian Artis, a medical doctor who decided to have me on his show because of the things that I already knew all the way back as far as, far as 2021. Serpent in the tree from Genesis, but we get a better, a more accurate description of what type of serpent he was in Acts chapter 16, verse 16. Now, this is the original Greek translation, and it's describing a python specifically. Satan was seen as a python, and that's exactly the snake that they chose to use to make this specific vaccine. Of all snakes they could have used, they chose to use a python. Now, what's interesting about the Python 2s I sent to you via text that uh, the World Economic Forum has a whole article on there with this big python with his mouth open, and it says, life-saving drugs from snakes venom, from deadly snake venom yeah. as life-saving drugs. I'm like, oh, my God, this is what y'all are focusing on. Ridiculous. And the python is the chosen snake as the image. Right. Exactly. So moving on to the next slide, and, and this goes back to zoonotic transmission if we go to, to that slide so we have the bird flu now that people get and how that occurs you have to have a jump from one species to the next well all of our vaccines or most of them are injected into bird eggs and statistically if you understand standard deviation statistically out of the hundreds of millions of vaccines created yearly you're going to have that mistake it's going to happen you're going to have that jump because 100 million, you're going to get several out of 100 million. You're going to have that jump. So now, humans are susceptible to bird flu as to where they weren't before because of the bird eggs. Well, because they're injecting us since we were babies with bird protein from vaccines cultured, harvested, manufactured in chicken eggs, which is a bird. So now we are susceptible to bird diseases. Okay, well, great, keep going. They're trying to figure out where this came from. Well, it just so happens China has entire villages that actually harvest snake eggs and use snake eggs now instead of bird eggs to mutate the vaccines. And you can go to YouTube and look this up. You can type in uh, China Snake Village, and you'll see it under the China Post website where they have the one village alone has over 3 million snakes where they're, I saw they do. They harvest snake eggs to grow, make vaccines. So how do you think this? Once again, this was from January of this year, but this was me discussing the book that I published in 2021, ladies and gentlemen. The things that I knew long before, the medical sciences, the jumping of the species that I was discussing in that interview, but it's also in my book. My incredible books that I published in 2021 and 2022, the things that I knew in advance, the science that I knew, the things that would unfold, I knew well in advance. There's the egg from my pet goat video. There's the serpent and its egg. There is the head and the parasitic worm coming out of it, the egg head that cracks open after it's mutated and the parasitic worm that comes out of it. There is the jumping of the species that has just recently occurred. They have to acknowledge there has been a jumping between species of parasitic worm <clears throat> associated to pythons that has just occurred. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, unequivocal proof in the forehead, the parasitic worm that was found in the forehead of a woman's brain that came from a python and eggs, from a python and eggs. Only one person can show I knew these things well in advance, well in advance. Zoonotic transmission, if we go to that slide so we have the bird flu now that people get and how that occurs you have to have a jump from one species to the next a jump from one species to the next it just happened ladies and gentlemen it just 
occurred exactly as I wrote about in 2021 what was coming. We're going to learn more. Zoonotic. Tell me how y'all feel about it. They could soon perhaps be put to use. In fact, the local snake hunter believes snake oil could be used in the COVID-19 vaccine and others. As Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisson tells us, research is actually underway. That's how we do it, son. Deep in the Florida Everglades, Dusty Crumb, known as the Wild Man, is on the hunt for pythons. Save the wildlife here in the Everglades. That's my mission. The invasive snakes have been destroying the native... That was a video I did June the 19th of 2021, ladies and gentlemen. I did that June the 19th of 2021, but yet, wait, there's more. With researchers, he believes there's another reason to hunt down the snakes. They may contain a key ingredient used for the COVID-19 vaccine. There's some really healing properties in the snake, and if you go back and introduce... Again, what I was showing was airing on Fox News. Fox 13, understand 13 and its relevant relevance to Revelation 13, the dragon. Fox 13 News was showing what they were doing, and I did a video on it, June 19, 2021. We're going to learn more. It's an oil called squalene found in high quantities in the livers of sharks. Scientists say the oil helps engage the immune system to get a good response from vaccines. But it also raises concerns about overfishing of sharks. Pythons may give researchers another option. A typical 12-foot python can make enough squalene for about 3,400 doses of vaccine. At Global Research and Discovery Group Sciences based out of Winter Haven, Daryl Thompson is fast-tracking the research. Study the medical... Global Research and Discovery Group, the exact company I was talking about in that interview with Dr. Brian Artis. But notice they were talking about sharks. It's typically a chemical found in sharks, and they said, well, maybe we might not ought to get it from sharks because we could be overfishing them. You see the sharks, ladies and gentlemen? You see part of the logo, the lightning bolt from Global Research and Discovery Group's logo. And you see the dragon from Revelation 13. This was long ago. This was many, many years ago, ladies and gentlemen. This is part of that video from iPet Goat. There's part of the logo. There's the brain where they found this parasitic worm. There's the dragon from Revelation 13. There's the shark. There's their logo, ladies and gentlemen. The lightning bolt. The lightning bolt. And the caduceus. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. See, these are the things that I know. These are the things that I know that none of these Trump prophets can give to you. The things I'm aware of. The things I was aware of in advance, long in advance, because once again, it's an oil called squalene. That was a video I did in 2021, ladies and gentlemen. We found in high quantities in the livers of sharks. Scientists say the oil helps engage the immune system to get a good response from vaccines. But it all my book was written before this, even before. June of 2021. It had been in publishing. My book was in publishing for nine months because they were fighting it tooth and nail to keep it from getting out. They fought my book tooth and nail to keep it from being published. I had to remove many things from my book, first book, just to get it published, just to get it out there so people knew what was coming and what was going on. I knew these things even further before this and had already written a book and pub, uh, had it in publishing. That's how far back. None of these false Trump prophets can show you the things that I can. All they do is they try to grasp on to my prophecies and my prophetic knowledge and my biblical knowledge, and they try to grab a little bit of it and say, Look at me, look at me, I am a prophet. I have all these new prophetic words from the Lord. They don't have any new prophetic words. All they've done is stolen, twisted, and butchered the things that I know.
I show the biblical links. I've connected all the dots. I wrote the argument that overturned the vaccine mandates. I've done all of this, and I prophesied it all before it ever happened, before any of these events, and I'm the only one that can prove that. The only one that can prove that, that I prophesied these events before they happened. Before they happened, the jumping between the species. Zoonotic transmission, if we go to the next slide. So we have the bird flu now that people get. And how that occurs, you have to have a jump from one species to the next. None of these false Trump prophets can not only show you the biblical implications, but I can show you the science. And I saw all of this coming beforehand. Every bit of this coming beforehand, and I'm the only one that can prove it. All these false Trump prophets are trying to do is ride the coattails of the things that I know and the things that I've shown. Y'all be sure to share this. God bless.